everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Kingdom of the Saplings. Today is episode 21, and we are down here in our brand new village. Now, I feel like I should show you whereabouts it's located, just so you can get an idea uh, of what's going off here at the minute. So, you can see the Guild Hall is just over yonder. You can see that just on the corner there. I remember, it kind of fans out like a V-shape, and this is basically where our uh, where our village is. So, it's not too far away from the here. Uh, I've built a little river around the left on the, around the side of it. You can just see a little sneaky peek of my house. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. And uh, also this as well. I got really, really bored the other night. And I decided to build this just because just I can. <laughs> and essentially it's just like a nice little organic natural thing. I mean, you can't see it at the minute. But behind those uh, little gaps over there. Just there, there and there. There's a very faint lighting behind some saplings. And it looks really, really nice. Which is awesome. So yeah, we're basically back in here in the kingdom today. Which is awesome. And I noticed actually when I flew up here that there's another building over there and I don't know what that is because that's that was never a part of the kingdom before because obviously I've now upgraded to 1.0 most likely like Yogbox 1.1 will be out in the next couple of days so we can always upgrade to that it's not a problem and uh, hello there master he's not as sprightly as he used to be he looks quite serious now he's like hello there master it's a bit weird I don't like uh, I don't know it's because I'm using the doku craft texture pack and it has custom skins for um for the Tale of Kingdoms mod, which is kind of interesting. But anyway, uh, I tell you what, I'm gonna go get a load of stuff because I want him to basically build up the town. Why was the fire? Oh, I think that might have just been the blacksmith. Let me have a quick look. Hold on. Oh yeah, it's just the blacksmith doing his thing. Uh, so yeah, just to fill you up on what I've been doing. Um, basically, I've got a load of mushroom stew here because I've got a couple of mushrooms uh, from all the items that I spawned back in uh, to my world. Because basically, all the items that I got in uh, Season 1 of Kingdom of the Saplings have all been carried through into the new season. It's just a map that's changed, pretty much. Um, I built some lampposts out of all the glowstone and the fences that I have. And this is my In the Little Home. Which I really like. I think it's really, really good. Um, I'm very proud of this design. It's one that we used. It's kind of like the one that we used for the boathouse in my vanilla uh, village world that I was making. And I've got this one built on a I Am Spoon's multiplayer server as well on his private server. Which I actually really like. So I'm going to take you inside of it so I can show you around. We did a little tour of the home. So as you can see over here we've got the kitchen area. Got some nice little bits in here. I've not actually filled those up yet, so I could do with doing that. Um, I've been using hatchets as well for decorative purposes. I am actually going to be sorting out my Doku Craft texture pack because I know you can you get like a customizable one, which is all good. Uh, it's turned too many items off because I don't need that anymore. Um, right, I'm going to get all these logs out. I'm going to get all the cobblestone out because obviously we'll upgrade in the village. And that's kind of pretty much it for the house at the minute. Um, it's a very bare house, it's very empty, and you're probably wondering where all of my items are, because upstairs I've literally just got this, like it's just, you know, it's just a bed and some of those bits as well, so there's not really much going off here, but um, actually if you come downstairs, you'll see that I have got a couple of sneaky bits hidden in here, and this is like my awesome little dungeon that I've got, it's all very symmetrical because I'm kind of a sucker for symmetry, it has to be done, but, um, but yeah, I thought I'd pop a fountain in the middle, this is also something that I built on Spoon Server, and it's like a new design, like a new style that I've been going for. So the idea is, is that this direction actually heads to the village. So I might have like a little underground pass going to the Kingdom of the Saplings. But I think that every time I upgrade or I repair the town, it will delete anything below it. So that's why I've left it boarded off for now. Uh, this room here is going to be where I'm going to have the enchanting room, which I basically need to do very, very soon. I've got all the stuff to make an enchanter, I think. Um, but what I want to do is I've seen a tutorial on how to make like a redstone piston driven one it looks amazing so basically like you press a button like up there and it drops down a couple of bookshelves and you can do like you know levels one to five and it drops down a couple more you can do like levels 20 to 30 30 to 40 and so on and so forth so i'm going to try and do that once i have all the materials together for it which would be good i'll probably do that on the live stream actually and i've just remembered that i've not mined any of this iron here either let me just grab some of these uh, this area here actually is boarded off and i think I can't remember which direction this heads in, so let me just remind myself. So if this way goes outwards, I think this this area will actually be okay to build in. Yeah, it is, yeah. So everything off in that direction is where more of these rooms are going to be. So that way, and possibly this way as well, will be okay for building on. Uh, now, I don't really want to use too much of this cobblestone. I'll use some dirt instead. 
just to cover this up. Oh, by the way, let me know what you think to the uh, the microphone quality. I'm on a new microphone. It's very kindly uh, donated uh, on, off my Amazon wish list by um, by X4 North. So massive thank you to him. I saw him on a server the other day, and I was just like, I love you. <laughs> thank you so much. But, um, but yeah, it's a blue Yeti. You might be able to hear a little bit of my keyboard moves, uh, keyboard presses, should I say. But that's just because I've not got a spider mount for it yet. But I'm working on it. Don't worry, I'm working on it. Uh, now I have another stack of wood in there. Do we have anything else? My my chests are very messy. Basically, what I did was I just took a print screen of all of the chests that I had in season one and basically just like you know replicated it exactly. So I've not really had that much time to fill everything back in yet. Uh, we've got a bit more dirt here. I kind of want everything to be smooth stone though. I could have sworn I had to ah yeah smooth stone. There we go. I was about to say I could have sworn I had some smooth stone in here. There we go. Got it. Got the crafting bench in there. And uh, what else have we got? I've got lots of iron, I recognised. I've got quite a lot of that. I've got a couple of lapis blocks as well and stuff like that, which is all good. So I'll tell you what, let's go up to uh, the guild. They're not the guild master. He's the city builder, I think he is. The city builder, and we'll go build the city. And I want to go investigate those other two houses as well. Oh, um... Sorry, I'm getting very excited about this. <laughs> I finally reached one of my uh, more difficult achievements on this. Um, I've been doing a lot of this legit, like basically all the mobs that I've been killing and getting money off, I've been leveling up legit. And if you look in the bottom left corner, you'll notice that I have 105,000 gold, which means I've reached my goal of breaking 100,000 golden coins, which means that I am now a slum block millionaire. <laughs> that's that's what we titled the achievement before, so that's very exciting. I'll put the, the little uh, thing over the screen right now for it which is good uh, right I'm gonna give you cobblestone I want to build a I don't I don't think I need to build a food shop just yet because I'm gonna be building a greenhouse where I'm gonna be growing melons pumpkins and also sugar canes as well so if I make a builder house where's that gonna go with I don't understand where that's gone to which house is it hmm are there any new houses here I don't I don't know so we had, oh, oh no, I see it, it's this one here, ah, wicked, ah, that's quite nice, oh, there's a little fox there, hello Sly, oh, I've broken, some of these are broken off, let me fix it, I don't know why they're broken off actually, maybe there was a tree here before, and it interrupted it, oh, no, don't, Sly, be quiet, I don't even know if that's you making that noise, you'll be okay, you'll be fine, you'll be good, <laughs> right, here we go, so this is the builder's house, so what, what exactly do you do, oh, Oh, wait. Oh, no, this is a house. Oh, I see. Oh, this is the city builder. So we've basically given you somewhere to live. That's awesome. And with it comes another extra house. Quiet now, Sly. There we go. Um, so if I give you some more cobblestone and some more... Do you not have enough wood? Does that have to be planks? I don't, I don't know. Let me turn this one into planks and we'll see what happens. Right. Oh, my God. It works off planks. Oh, my God. This is going to be so easy. Okay. Uh, build the barracks then. Where would the barracks live? Uh, is, oh, is that just next door? I think. Oh, no, no, no. Kivel, kivel, kivel. Get out, get out, get out. There you go. You're fine. You're all good. No, that's not the barracks. So which one's the barracks then? It might be where the... Oh, I think that might be actually. That's a pretty big house. I, I was going to say it might... Oh, no, that's definitely the barracks. <laughs> like I was about to say a second ago, it might be where the Christmas tree is. So this is... Wow, Okay. We have one of these kind of setups in the guild hall, don't we? So that's pretty... Oh, there's never rack here. Oh, you look like you fought a few battles. Ah, oh, matey. Oh, recruit a knight for your village. Recruit an archer for your village. And recall all defenders to the barracks. The knights and archers upgrade if, if they damage enough monsters. 1,000 gold per hire. Wow, okay. Hold on, let me go investigate around here a little bit more. Can I not go... Do I not have permission to go up there? Oh, no, I do. I'm good. I'm all right. So we've got some dispensers down there, which is pretty sweet. And the ladder goes up into the main tower. This is a really awesome build. I like this. Oh, wow. You can basically look out around the whole town. That's one thing that they've not quite managed to do yet, though, is, is doing natural progressions up to there. Rather than just, like, slicing a rectangle, they should at least, like, put, like, you know, a bit of grass down or something. But, yeah, this looks awesome. Okay, so let me go down here. We'll hire some of these guys. We'll hire one of each. I've got, like, 105k, so I'm pretty sure I can hire at least one of each. Recruit a knight, recruit an archer. There we go. So do you two do you two follow me then? Oh amazing, you do. Wicked. At least I think you do. Come with me, friends! Let us go slay the beasts. Uh, we actually need to go to the builder's house. I want to try and basically build everything so I can upgrade the town a little bit more. Oh. 
chicken died here. This is the problem, actually, with mode creatures installed, because basically, if you don't know, I'm using the Yog box uh, for this new season, is that you get a lot of the animals in here, and by animals, I mean you get beers in the middle of the village, <laughs> and they just go around killing the villagers. It sucks. Do you have a bedroom at all? Oh, you don't. It's just there. Oh, hello, Billy. Billy goat. Billy goat. Uh, right, I'm going to give you... Oh, I need to make all this into a thingy, don't I? Into logs. Uh, into planks, even. I'm just hoping I've got enough cobblestone. Right, build a food shop. Good. We got that. Now, hopefully... <gasps> Tier 3 city base. Awesome. Now, I'm hoping this isn't going to destroy my house. I have a really bad feeling that is going to, but I'm going to I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. And this looks like the food shop. <gasps> okay, come on, come on. There we go. What are we going to... Oh. Well, how the hell are you... Oh, wait, hold on. That, I think that's an alternate entrance. <laughs> that's fine. We've got a paladin or a knight there. We should name these guys. We should have one of these at all times. We've already lost the archer somewhere. I don't know where he's gone to. I don't know if he's like stood on some kind of tower around the town. But you, my friend. What should we name him? Leave it in the comment section below. We can decide what to name him. So he's our knight. Maybe his name should begin with K. Because it's knight. Or maybe N. Okay, that's a rule. His name has to start with K or N. Are you a guy or a girl? I don't know, but you've got some food. You sell. Wow, you sell melons. That's pretty sweet. So I don't have to worry about um, getting loads of melon seeds and stuff. I mean, I'm still going to grow my own. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to still do show as your melons. But um, but yeah, that's kind of cool. Now, where did that Archer go to? Oh, he's there. Oh, there he is. Right. I feel like we should just call you Archie. I feel like that's, that's what we should call you. Not just because you're an archer, and it seems obvious, but because um, my first ever nephew was born uh, about five or six months ago uh, on my dad's half of the family, because he only has one sister, and he's called Archie, so it's a nice way of having him involved in this, which is good. So I tell you what, I'm going to give you all this cobblestone, and we are all out. That's not good. Do I tell you what, let's go get some cobblestone. Let's do that. Basically, today's episode is going to be gathering resources. Yes, I've decided on this. Um, do I have any saplings on me? I don't know. Okay, that's fine. I'll tell you what, actually. Um, let's go hire some more paladins because I noticed that there is a reticule base nearby. And I'd actually quite like to take that down before it, it before it progresses closer to the city. I don't know if they actually move inwards or anything, but, um, let's hire maybe, what, four more paladins? Four? Yeah, let's have, like, a big squad of us. Or a knight, sorry. Three, four. Right, there we go. So we've got five of these and we should have... Um, an archer as well. I don't know where Archie is. There we go. Only, we only have to name one of them though. That's fine. Right, so there's you four. Where are the other two? Oh, you're waiting at the centre for me. There you are. I think maybe if you get out of a certain radius of them, they, they lose you. Come now, friends. We're going to go face the blasted revicules. Let's go. We've got to defend this city with our honour. Oh, are you going to come as well? No, you're not. It's fine. Right, I tell you what. Let's take you all up this gravel path. Do you like the lampposts, everybody? I think they're nice. I think they're nice. Right, I can see the fires there, yeah. It's probably not the best time to do it when there's going to be a lot of mobs out as well, but that's fine. And all those guys are very, very, very noisy. Kill the rats. Oh, there we go. Whoa, lots of coins. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is insane. Right, it's probably going to get more insane, though, when we start fighting these guys. Come on, then. Let's have it. Let's have it. Oh, no, that's a creeper. That's a normal creeper. That's it. Come on, then, Refrical Warrior. I'll have you. Oh, God. This is a big battle. Oh, God. Oh god, oh god, where are they? Yeah, that's a normal zombie, don't go after him. Go after the reficule, guys. Go after the reficules. Uh, I'll try and deactivate their portal. I don't think it's going to work, though. Oh god, is there any water nearby? That would really help me right now. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I think we're doing good, though. We got this, guys. We got this. Oh god. I don't know which one's which. Because some of them are on. Oh no, Archie! Oh, we lost Archie. That's okay, we'll get another one. Oh no. We'll have to keep a track of how many Archies that we have. We'll have, like, Archie the second, Archie the first, and all stuff like that, so that'll be, that'll be fun. Um, right, let me get all this Neverrack. I wonder if I can... Oh, Mossy Cobblestone, that's worth quite a lot, actually, isn't it? I can sell that at, at the, uh, at the, at the hall. Oh, careful, guys. Come on. Be careful. Oh, no, it's setting... No, forest fires are very bad. Oh, God, hold on. Let me go to my house and get a, uh... Oh, there's still another... Oh. Is the Ender Archer down? I think the Ender Archer's down. This isn't good, though, is it? We need to go and put out this fire. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Okay, I'll tell you what. If I get rid of all of those... Oh, no, this is terrible. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Oh, God. Is there still another enemy here? No, there's not. Hold on. Let me go to my house and get some water. We need to put this out, like, ASAP, because otherwise it's just going to spread. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There should be some buckets of water downstairs in my house, I think. So let me just pop down here and grab some. 
This is terrible. <laughs> this is not good at all. Uh, oh, by the way, I've not had a chance to go through all of the achievements that you sent me the other day. Uh, there was like something insane, like one and a half thousand of them. So I'm going through as many of them as I can, as quickly as I can. And um, I'll make sure that I look through all of them. But there are a couple of them that I like so far. So expect to see me trying to achieve those in the next couple of weeks, uh, which would be good. And by the way, a uh, quick question. I might actually put this as an annotation at the start of the video as well, in case nobody makes it this far. Oh, it's a jellyfish. Um, I was wondering if we should just leave the Flatham RPG adventure to die. Should we, ju should we just let it finish? Just leave it as it is? Part of me feels like we should. Um, because it started off really well and I quite liked it. I thought, oh, this might be like Paladin's Quest. And it didn't really turn out like that. So, I don't know. It's up to you guys. You can all decide for me. Ah, I'm happy to carry on playing it. But I feel like it had the potential but it didn't quite meet it. And actually, Paladin's Quest Episode 2 um, isn't far off being released. And I know Kingdom of the Sky 2. Oh, dearie me, knights. Calm yourselves. Um, <laughs> I know that's not far off coming out as well. Um, where do we start with putting out this fire? Bloody hell. Um, hold on, hold on. Let me use this never rack to climb up. If I could just basically get up there and put water over it. Oh, God. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Hold on. Oh, God. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Oh, no, I forgot fire doesn't spread infinitely anymore, does it? Oh, okay, that's a relief. That's fine. That that was introduced in, like, version 1.4 or something stuff like that, but I still completely forgot about it. But that's okay. Uh, I tell you what, I'm just going to put this out so it doesn't spread beyond the portal area. There we go. Let's put out some of these as well. There we go. Right, now what did I need? I needed a bit more cobblestone, didn't I? So I can go in, um... So I can go and sort out the town. Now, one thing that I want to do, and I've done this for the first time. I think it was maybe like two or three days ago. I built an enchanter on vanilla Minecraft for the first ever time. And I haven't built an enchanter on this series yet. And... I, I don't know if it's just me, it might just be just me who does this, but whenever I'm enchanting something, even though the enchantment, like the title of it, doesn't actually tell you what you're going to get, I still like to sit there and translate it, as in like I like to sit there and try and work out what it says. Now, I've done this a few times already and I'm actually getting quite good at it, like I can look at it and I can almost read the enchantment text, which is kind of very sad and then kind of very awesome in my opinion, <laughs> like it saves me a lot of time and I like being able to, to know what they say, but um... But yeah, I don't know if that's just me. And there's... Is that a room down there? Is that... Oh, no, I think that's lava, actually. I'll tell you what, I'm probably going to go down that in a later episode, I reckon. We'll go down that like we did, like a tunnel. Because that could actually lead some, to some really nice ravines and stuff. Let me just go grab these knights over here. You two. Oi. Are you stuck? Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's the wrong item. There we go. Who are you, actually? They all look different. Do they have different skins? I think you're just a general knight, aren't you? Interesting. Okay, that's fine. Um, have I got any guys left over there? Are they all following me? They're not. Who Who are you? What What are you doing? Oh, I will follow you. I will follow you. Brilliant. Come with me, paladins. So they're actual paladins and you're... Oh, you're a warrior. Ah. Okay, so that's an actual paladin. That's awesome. That's pretty sweet. So... We could really have you inside the city, to be honest. Unless you get stuck. Oh, no, there you come. There you go, paladins. Are you going to guard this area? Awesome. Good. Good times. Right, now, where are we going? We're going to get some cobblestone, weren't we? I'll tell you what, before we get the cobblestone, let me just go around to this house and we'll see what's around this corner because I don't, I don't know what these buildings are, to be honest. I've built the grass around them just to make it look a bit more pretty. Like, you know, like I built the river. I basically built some grass around here to make it, make it all, like, flow a bit better. I mean, I obviously didn't do a good job of that bit just there. I'll tell you what, let me take that down, so... I don't have to live with the embarrassment of that existing. There we go. <laughs> Fixed it. But um, but yeah, I tidied up this area. I think it looks relatively, like, naturally spawned. There's a lot of torches here. Holy hell, what is this? Is this some kind of quarry? Or is, this a, is this a game? Oh my god, maybe there's like a mini game in this. <gasps> that would be so cool. That's what they don't really have many of in Minecraft. I mean, obviously not in the vanilla version, but even in mods, they don't have, like, mini games. Hello, who are you? Um, right, okay. Do you need resources, sir? Yeah, I'd like 64. Come back again later when we have the resources. Buy a worker. Okay, how much do workers cost? 1,500. Mm, okay, well, if I buy three workers for now, and we'll see how they get on. So I'm assuming... What what do you give me? I'm, go I'm, I'm just going to assume that you give me cobblestone, maybe. Will the workers be down here, then, doing their, doing their thing? Oh, they are here! <laughs> 
There's the workers there. So you're getting me cobblestone. That's cool. Okay, so you get me cobblestone, which is good. That's awesome for when we're, like, upgrading and fixing and repairing the town and stuff. So what is this building? It looks more like a town hall. This also has a minecart track in it, which is interesting. And I've fallen into it. Bugger. Oh, no. Oh, no. What have I just broken? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm breaking it. I'm sorry. Sorry. You, you, no, you didn't see anything here. You saw nothing. Leave it be. Right, hold on. Let me fix this. Bloody hell. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, there's a fence gate. Where was the fence gate? I don't know where the fence gate was. Oh, God. I think the fence gate might... No, because the fence gate can't have been there. Maybe the fence gate... Oh, the fence gate was between them. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Good. Now, the fence gate was just... There. Somehow it was floating. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. Let me take this down. I'm breaking everything here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, that was there. The fence gate was just there, and that was open. Okay, and then we take the never rack down. We put the minecart track back, if I can even get to it. No, I can't. Oh, no, let me drop the fence. There we go. Minecart track down, fence up. Why do I have more than one minecart track? Oh, no, there we go. Got it, got it. Right. Nobody will be none the wiser. <laughs> it's fine. Nobody will ever know we were here. Right, pick up this wood. Who are you, then? What do you collect for me, though? That's the question. I'm going to assume you collect me wood. Maybe, Yeah, maybe you collect wood. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll buy free workers for here as well. There we go. I'm just like, throw it. Oh. No, no. You don't want to... He will begin work immediately. Why are they digging in... No, you don't want to get wood inside of here. You should be outside, shouldn't you? Or at least that's how I think it should be. Well, if you want to take that entire building just to give me resources, then be my guest. That's all good. I don't mind at all. Now, part of me wants to go and dig in this quarry with them, but I'm worried that I'm worried that it might glitch them out if I do that. So, let me go find my own cave to, to, to mine in. That's fine. We need to build this, like, tier 3 city base. Collect 64. Oh. Also, I'm assuming that the full red bar is 64. God, that's going to take them forever, isn't it? Jesus. Right, let me go find my own place then. I might make an enchanter now, actually. I think I have the stuff for it. I know I've got obsidian for a portal, but I can always do that little trick that I have where... I make obsidian... Oh, there's a little cave here. Yeah. Yeah, I might enchant this diamond pickaxe that I've got and see what we can get for it. Um, but yeah, I know that um, I've got some obsidian for a portal because I've not rebuilt my portal yet to the nether. And I've also not rebuilt my twilight forest portal either. So maybe I should do that this episode as well. A couple of last bits of prep that I've forgotten about, but <laughs> it's completely fine. I can do that. It's all good. So if we go... Which chest is it going to be in? I think I need four pieces, don't I, for a, for an enchanter. Let me just put some stuff away. Put some wood away. So I need enchanter. I need diamonds. Diamonds are in one of these chests over here. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Ah, there we go. Diamonds. Got them. So it's diamonds. And I need a book as well. I think I need a book. Sly! Keep the noise down, man. People are trying to sleep. Uh, sugar canes. Ah, I, there we go. I knew I had loads of sugar canes. So I think it was... I think it was obsidian. I need to make pages first. Obviously, yeah, they make pages. And then I only need one book for this, don't I? I just need a single book. So if I do that, it should be... I think it's that. Then a T. And then diamonds. Ah, yeah, there we go. Awesome. So we've got that. Now, the only problem now is that I don't have the bookcases yet to do this. So... I'll tell you what, if I make a basic room just for now... I don't have a shovel just yet. Oh, I thought something was pushing me there. <laughs> Did anybody see that? I just like, sort of like shifted momentum a little bit forwards. I'll tell you what, let's make some, let's make some bookcases. Let's do that for now. I'm going to keep some of these sugar canes for growing, but then we'll use the rest of them to make bookcases. As long as I can get, like, a level 20 enchantment, that's all I need, really, for now. Um, oh, that can divide up into a couple more, actually. Three, four... I can get four of each? Awesome. There we go. Then it's downwards for a book, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. 11, 12, 13, 14. Got it. Right, we've got 14 of these. I don't know how many books that will actually make me. Uh, how many bookshelves, should I say? Uh, so let's give this a go. So if we put that there, it's going to be one, two, three. So I'm assuming it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I can make, what, four bookcases. I don't know what kind of enchantment level that's going to give me, actually. I don't know if it's going to be very much. I might just have to grow some more sugar canes. I need to make myself a greenhouse. Um, that's the one thing that I want to do. Rather than just growing sugar canes around a pond, I want to make a greenhouse. I want a greenhouse for my, um, for my watermelons. I want a greenhouse for my uh, sugar canes and I also want one for the wheat as well um, with like a proper like glass and a door and everything so nothing can get in 
Uh, let me just go grab a shovel. I might just have to make one out of iron. That'll be fine. But yeah, if I can enchant this uh, diamond pickaxe, then I'll be able to get a ton of cobblestone a lot quicker, hopefully. Uh, do I have a shovel? Oh, I've got a stone one. That'll do for now. That's all I need. Let me just put a load of stuff away. I'm getting a bit over-encumbered. There we go. I mean, you don't get fully over-encumbered in Minecraft. Although that would be a good mod. Do you not think? Do you not think an over-encumbered mod would be awesome? It'd make things a little bit more realistic. Um, so I'll tell you what. If I put... Four is going to do nothing, is it? Oh, this really going to do... I'll tell you what. I'll literally just put, like, one line here. One, two, three, four. Will that actually draw any words from the shelves? I don't think it's enough, is it? No. Let me put uh, let me put the pickaxe in. No, I can only do really low-level enchantments. Oh, bugger. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll leave that for the next episode, then. I can just use my normal diamond pickaxe for now. I've got some more diamonds on me to make another pick. And if I remember rightly, actually, they're selling diamonds in town for 700 gold, I think. So I can more than afford that, which is good. Although, obviously, the more that I buy from the town, the more that the price goes up. So it's sort of like a win-lose situation, really. Um, so let's go up here. I'm just have a quick so we juice. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. While I'm doing that, whilst we're heading down to this little mine shaft, um, it might be worth showing you today's fan art. So I've got this literally on the email this morning. Uh, if you ever want to send fan art to me, you can either send it by like the PO box or you can um, send the actual picture. That's uh, the ones I get sent by email are always more likely to appear uh, in the episodes just because it's a digital copy. Um, but this is actually from a girl called Aaron Singer, and she sent me one a while ago and um, asked if it was okay to draw me as a cat. And she did draw me as a cat, and it was wicked. So she drew me as a cat. And um, it's weird, cat suit fringes, if that makes sense. I mean, you'll be looking at this picture right now and you might understand what I'm talking about. But it oddly works. It's really strange. Like, I don't know why it works, but it does. Um, but yeah, so so that's kind of one thing that's going off. And I liked as well how she incorporated the sapling logo into the torch. So the torch actually has like the little swirl in it, which looks just like beyond epic. It looks so good. There we go. I'm going to break away a load of this. So I tell you what, I should hopefully be able to just get maybe one or two stacks and that should be enough to get us up to a tier 3 city and then what I can do in the next episode is I can mine a load of stuff on the live stream just so people know that I do this legit um, I, can mine, I can mine a load of stuff on the live stream so in the next episode I can get whatever new buildings because I'm assuming we're going to get new buildings when we get to a tier 3 city which will be good oh hello it's an extra cave here <laughs> just, just broken into another one that's awesome. Speaking of which, we we don't have anything in this new world, as in, like, you know, like, mineshaft-wise. So we really do need to go exploring a little bit, which is a good idea. Oh, no! Pick on dirt. Pick on dirt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like we should have a t-shirt with that on. Like, pick plus dirt equals rage. Just <laughs> just simply have that as a shirt. There we go. Um, now, how do I... Oh, oh I've got to be careful here. That was my... I think I've got Optifine installed. I think. I'm assuming that I have if I've got that little zoom thing. But, um... But yeah, so I need to make sure that my shift key, I'm using the right one. Because my shift key is typically left control. I know a lot of people use left shift like I am right now. But I actually prefer left control for some reason. So I'll have to change that. Or at least just remember to to, to not forget it. Uh, right, here we go. Got some bits in here. What we got? And all the paladins and the warriors have, have either died or they've not managed to come with us. They've probably gotten stuck behind a wall. This is looking promising, actually. I hear water as well. I don't think there's going to be a ravine nearby. But there's a lot of bloody iron, which is good. I've noticed that iron amounts have gone up quite a lot since um, since 1.0. Like, in my vanilla world that I'm doing at the minute on the streams, I've got so much iron, I don't even know what to do with it. Like, I've got, like, two stacks worth. It's insane. Um, so, where are we going? We're going to go down here, maybe? Oh, there's a lot of zombies down there. Let me build a staircase downwards. They can come up to me. Why not? There we go. Get down! Get down! Stay! Stay! Gotcha. You're done. You're done. Oh, I hear rats. Where the bloody hell are those rats? I hate the rats in this game, by the way. <laughs> That's the one thing that I don't like in the mode creatures is the rats. Um, there's a lot of coal. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't fall into lava anywhere. Because Oh, diamonds! Nice! Oh, oh, where was that creeper at? I think the creeper just fell into... <laughs> I think the creeper just fell into lava. That's good. Yes, check this out. Wow, there's a lot of them. That's four, five. That's a pretty big deposit. I'm just going to mine around a little bit more as well. Just to make sure there's no other hidden ones. But that might be it for now. But that's pretty sweet. So literally one episode in on the new season. Oh, six. Six. That's good. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. So we're one episode in and we've already found diamonds in a cave. So even if we'd started this legit, we would have found them pretty swiftly, to be honest. Oh, my God. There we go. 
got some redstone as well. That'll be coming handy, actually, the redstone wheel for the uh, for the pistons later on. When, when we're making the enchantment room. Oh, oh, the mice are here. There you go. Down you go. Down you go. Right, do I even... Oh, there's a big lava bed over there, actually. I'll head over that way in a second. We've already lit that area up. Let's just have a little bit more of a progression round. I haven't found any lapis yet. I need to find some lapis. Whoa, there's a few mobs down there. Come on, then. Oh, that's a spider. There we go. Ow, you git. Have a word. Have a word. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Yes, took him down. Just. But I think there's one coming behind me. No, there's not. We're all good. <laughs> I thought there was a creeper coming down behind me. I'm worried about the one in front of me, but the other one's about to own my ass. I can see gold there. I can see gold there. That's good. Um, I can actually do with getting that, because I can make some more glistening melons, because as well as making an enchantment table, I want to make potions as well. So I reckon in the next episode, we'll make our way down to the nether, so we can go and find a, um, a nether fortress, which will be good. We can take down a load of blazers. And actually, I'm thinking maybe if I buy a load of diamonds from town, even though the price of diamonds is going to go up, if I can get myself some diamond armor, that would, that would be quite nice, actually. I quite like that. I see there's some mushrooms over there. M mushrooms are my new favourite food, by the way. I used to be all about, you know, like the pork chops and stuff like that, but I found with mushrooms, like, you is that more diamonds? Oh my god, is that more diamonds? Oh, get in! This is like, I've never found this many diamonds at one point. Honestly, I, I, I'm not kidding you. Oh, you are having a giraffe. You are having a giraffe with a big old long, big old long neck. That's so upsetting. <laughs> That's so upsetting. Let me make sure I've got my shift key on. Right, I've got you. Don't worry. Oh, God. That is... That's so... That sucks. Okay, well, we lost one diamond. That's fine. We can always buy more. But, yeah, if I can make some diamond armor out of all of this, that's going to be really cool. Uh, actually, speaking of which, I want to get out of here before I die. So, which way did I come from? I know I made myself a staircase. I think it might have been over this way. Here we go. I'm just going to make sure I don't fall into lava at any point. <laughs> this just will not end well. Actually, I'll tell you what. Um, I'll get myself back up to the village. Uh, tomorrow, we'll upgrade to tier 3 and we'll go down to the nether and I'll make my diamond armor and stuff by then. So I'll see you all in a little bit.